the latest piece of information that I have is that um, that the platform has been repaired. Um, whether it's operational, I know it's not operational yet. Um, in other words, you know, it's not being used today for uh, tourism purposes. Okay, but in in terms of the actual act of sabotage, who is responsible? Um, what other than the investigation that Niche is conducting, what else can you offer uh, penalties on a whole? Aside from cr criminal penalties, is there anything that if it is another tourism, tourism group or another group that conducts tours near the area, who's responsible? Is there anything in place at all? Um, the, obviously, as you've indicated, the matter has been uh, taken to the police. Mm -hmm. um, it is, again, an obvious work of sabotage. We really have no idea who the culprits may have been. Um, you know, I would hate to think that uh, it was done by, let's say, a, com you know, a competing tour operator because um, that would indicate you know, poor professionalism. Um, you know, so it's it's really hard to tell, but um, we can certainly say that the police are looking into it. Uh, if um, you know, if people are, are found out uh, to be guilty of the of the offense, then they will be charged in court. Um, in terms of what you know, what the Institute of Archaeology or Niche could levy, um, you know, if it would be a tour operator, we could then deny them you know access of use uh, to the park. Um, you know, we, you know, th that's the the strength of that our would law. be banning them permanently or indefinitely. Uh, you know, it could either be for a length of time or indefinitely. So, you know, again, we would have to look at it. Okay. Um, I'm asking because the press release that Niche had issued soon after the incident was very stern that anyone found responsible for the act will be dealt with um, strictly. Uh, certainly, you know, because. Um, you know, we all work towards trying to create a tourism product in Belize. And uh, when these kinds of events happen, um, it doesn't only bode poorly on, you know, on nature or the Institute of Archaeology, it bodes poorly on the entire country. And, um, and these kinds of things have international ramifications. You know, they could, essentially what the, the signal it gives to the outside world on who we depend for on our tourism might say guess what let's you know let's take Belize out of the circuit because uh, these kinds of events uh, don't bode well you know for their guests so uh, so it is uh, we do take this very seriously